Well, we're very different here to any other clinic, is we like to make everything specific to you. It's not a generic, there's some exercises and go home, we're not like that here. Okay, so we try to get that across as quick as possible in uh, with this today. The whole point of today is to help you make the best decision regarding the long-term benefits for your back. Because I'm pretty sure if you've been to a GP at some point or a doctor, he's will be sitting there going, I don't even know what's wrong with this. My name's Kevin, okay, I'm one of the back specialists here. 60% of my job is dealing with backs in this clinic. Okay, uh, it's one of the most common things we see here day to day. It's one of the most common things that are overlooked. It's one of the ones where you probably all be sitting there when I say this sentence, a doctor, a GP, an NHS physio, and I'm not being disrespectful to them, has turned around and said there's nothing else we can do. Okay, there always is. Okay, it might never be exactly what you do want, but there's always something that can be done. So just because, like I said, I want to tailor it for each individual person, we're going to go around the room. I'm going to pass it over to yourselves now, okay, so we've got a volunteer. All I want you to know is your name, a little bit about your back, what's going on, but then more importantly, what it's actually stopping you from doing. <laughs> My name's Harold. A few years ago, I had a fall off some step ladders, landed on my back. Right. Over the years, it was alright at first, and then over the years, about five years ago, it gradually got worse. I went to the doctor, sent me for an MRI. Could find nothing drastically wrong with my back, but they said it's... Um, the follow-up of the fall yeah. and the deterioration in my back. Right. That is my back pain. Right. The doctor said all I could see on the x-ray, when I had it x-rayed, was, it was mush, white right. mush. Right. Okay. Over the time, it's got worse and worse. So now I'm on transect patches right. and I'm taking paracetamols and at the moment I've still got a pain in the bum. <laughs> I, don't know, I, find, <laughs> I find that when I've walked so far, somebody grabs me around the waist right, and the yeah. thumbs go into my spine and they're pushing me over. So someone's pushing you over. Yeah. yeah you and <coughs> it, I cannot walk very far now. Right. As I say, the doctor just keeps up in the uh, patches on my back. Do, do you often find, you know, if, as if you're on like a trolley? You lean over the trolley and your whole back just goes, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm walking around the shop and I've got to lean on the, yeah. on the counters yeah. on. Yeah. It's your, yours I can't rules. lean on the wife because she's on a walk stick. I borrow it. I borrow them sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's as much as I can tell you. Yeah. No, no, I think I know what, I think I know what yours is. Um, Thank it's, you very it's, much. An, it's an unusual, it's not, it's not, not it's not common. Okay. Um, it's one of the ones that we don't see very often here, but we know a lot about it. You can do so, something. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you can. You can. Everything you can do about it, we might not be able to get rid of it, but it's definitely, definitely help. My name's Dick. Um, I've had a long standing back complaint over the last 25 years uh, after a serious car accident. I was left with a slippage on the vertebra in my spine that put it down to the grand name of spondylosis. Spondylosis, yeah, spondylosis. I've managed that over the last 25 years, <coughs> but then about <coughs> a year ago I started to get quite severe pain in the lumbar back region. Right. Um, <coughs> I had an M MRI mm -hmm. and they give us an alternative of either an operation or manage the pain yourself yeah. with strong painkillers. I've had um, injections into the spine mm. which didn't work at all. Uh, currently, I have trouble walking, pain down both legs, and severe backache as well. Okay. <laughs> MRI scan showed, according to the, the report on it, degeneration of the discs. Yeah, exactly. That's straight away. That's what I would yeah. say. Yours is straight away. Yeah. That that is. You can manage it. And last but not least, the late comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting them as well, so I think you're coming in scot free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've worked in care for about 25 years, so yeah. that's where I blame. Uh, I've had a bad back for over 10 years, but I've just coped with this. I just, mm. I've got four bulging discs, spondylosis, mm. arthritis, um, in my lower back. But I could cope with that too, and the painkillers, and I just carried on work. And then yeah. last January, it started down this leg. Yeah. And by March, I had to pack my job in. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been there 21 years and I've had to mm. just, I just couldn't do the care work yeah. anymore. And um, they've said it's my passive joint. 
one of them it's a black on this yeah. and, and the pain in this leg is just horrendous I'm in I'm on walking stick now they've given me two facet joint injections that didn't do the pain I was there at the pain clinic last week and he's on about giving me epi epidural. An epidural. Yeah. And they just like you say, they just keep putting the I'm on tramadol, gabapentin, mm. paracet, all you know, just then they've tried the packages. Mm. They just didn't work at all. I, I just, they just kept putting them up. I said, Well they're not doing anything, I might as well not be having them. Yeah. So now they've given me the Oromorph to try and our PRN. Right. Which does help me sleep yeah. a bit because I can't when I'm I have to lift this leg literally to turn over and so I'm not getting no yeah. rest. I can't ride my bike anymore, I can't climb. I'm really depressed at me. And there comes, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's so it is though, because it's the, like, what what you find that the NHS do is the, and it's, and it's, it's not the people, it's the system. The treat is as a name or a number. It's wrong. It's, and it's, it's all wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. You know, like they said to me, mm. we'll, we'll bring you in. It could be up to 18 weeks. That's nearly five months. What are you doing that? What do you, you meant to do in that time? Yeah. So it is though, it's just a frustration, isn't it? Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't give you a right answer, they can try and fob you off as much as they can. Painkillers are fantastic as far as they're concerned, and it's the length of time. I mean, I've always, always worked, and then they put you on this ESA, or whatever they call it. Yeah. Knock you off, as they said, oh, you can use your top half of your body. <laughs> okay, then, great. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, yeah. hey, God, there's people out there, nothing wrong with them. And they get everything, you know what I mean? I thought, hey. Frustrated people. Yeah. It's, there's definitely something that can be done for us all. What happens next day is we're going to spend about 20 minutes where I'm going to teach us, or when I teach us, I'm going to give you a bit of information. I'll just tell you about why we are why we are the way we are, why this happens, why, why we've done, why we've got our conditions. A bit about the various conditions, the most common ones we see here. Um, everybody apart from Harold over there <laughs> is covered in hair. <laughs> He's special. Um, no, but, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're then going to go through like basically things to help yourself, ways to help yourself, but then at the last bit go into how physiotherapy can actually help you as well. We've got to give you the, all the options. We've got to make sure you can make the best choice for your long-term health. Okay? And if it is physiotherapy, I'll tell you it's physiotherapy. If it's not, I'll tell you it's not. We all know that Google's a fantastic thing. Okay? Who's, who knows anything about the back of all? Yeah, you look on yeah. the internet. Yeah. <laughs> they frightened you more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, most of the stuff we're going to talk about today is the bottom of the back. I know that there's a couple of years that go all the way up. But I'll tell you how it's related. Okay? The body is just a series of bones with muscles that pull. Okay? Muscles are like elastic bands. If it's tight at one end, it's going to pull at the other, which pulls at another elastic band and another elastic band. Okay? So that's why Azure Yours is. starts here and then it yeah. works its way up. Because it's them elastic bands pulling. starts at the bottom, pulls down and down and down and down and down. Guarantee a couple of years when you've had x-rays and stuff, they won't have even looked at this part. Okay, this is a massive part of what we do here at the clinic. You obviously you've got hip problems as well, but your pelvis will be playing up like why well, I think it's your pelvis that's actually the problem. The NHS don't consider it a problem, so they don't look at it. Okay, it is massive how that affects the rest of the body. And I think Chris that might be a little bit with yourself as well. Okay. Um it's that yours is going more towards that. But I'm gonna go through the symptoms and then we'll, we'll make our decisions later on. Well, basically, as human beings, if you go back to, um, I read an absolutely brilliant book on it, if you go back to where man started, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to get into the religious versus whatever debate, if you go back to where man started, okay, we've evolved over billions of years, okay, to get to where we are now, okay, in the last 200 we have changed our lives massively, we are designed to, what about all day to find our food, lie down on night and go to sleep. That is what the human body is designed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. mm. we're, we're not designed we're to, sit to, sit. <laughs> to not designed to sit at desks all day. No. Okay, no. office jobs. Okay, don't has any of you had office jobs in here? Yeah, mm. office jobs. Mm. Switch it switches everything off, doesn't it? Do you feel worse after you've been to work? Does everybody understand what I mean by that? It's the day to day stuff that we do that would mm. cause us the problems. Okay, get a diagnosis before you decide what you're going to do. That's hopefully what day I'm going to give you as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you some gentle exercises to take away with, so that you can, every, everyone is relieved to deal with something to do to help you today. Okay, whether you, whether we're seeing you again in the future or whether I don't. Okay, today is just going to give you some, some help, some relief from today. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm weightlifting the wrong exercise, yep. I'm an ex-weightlifter. Yep. Yeah. I think it's probably done me, it's promoted to lift weights for strength. Yeah. It's probably done me more harm than good. Definitely. Mm. If you want to, if you want to find out more, about your specific condition, okay, what Paul offers is, because you've come to the day, 
because you didn't quite know what was wrong with you because you didn't know if physiotherapy was right for you. What we move into next is what we call a free taster session. Okay, it's complimentary, there's no charge on it. Okay, it's one on one with the physio, it'll either be with me or I think it's most of them depends on with Sammy Arnold. Yeah, 60% yeah, of my work staff, Sammy probably goes up with about 70% of her work has been that. Um, it would be a lot more can you see this, can you see that, rather than you just telling us we'd actually get our hands in there. Um, and I want to catch us all before you go just to give you an exercise. Okay. These taster the sessions, because yeah. I'm from Redcar. Right, we do them at Gisborough. I was going to say, yeah, you don't Yeah, we do them at Gisborough. Mm. Yeah. So, for example, for yourself and that, we'll do that in Gisborough for, yeah. for you. She's running first, she's running, she's yeah. in, the first one's gone. <laughs> There's only four down. <laughs>